Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, we are going to discuss about a very important concept related to Kafka monitoring. Okay. So already in our previous video, we discussed several concepts related to Kafka starting from how to install Kafka in our local system or AWS EC2, right? And then we discussed Kafka brokers, topics, zookeepers, Kafka producers, consumers, schema registry, Kafka connectors, all these concepts we discussed in detail. Now another very important component in Kafka pipeline in especially production system is Kafka monitoring. And today in this particular video, we are going to discuss one very important matrix for our Kafka monitoring and that is consumer lag analysis. Okay, so what is that? How to fill this particular lag analysis concept using some Python programming, some cell scripting, all these things I am going to discuss today in this particular video. So without any further delay, let us start understanding on this particular basic Kafka monitoring matrix that is consumer lag. So what is consumer lag? Let us try to understand first. So suppose here we are having a Kafka broker. Here I can write Kafka broker. Inside this broker, we are having multiple topics, right? And here our producer is producing the data. And here in right hand side, we are having consumer, which is consuming the data from a particular topic. Okay. Now suppose the producer is producing the data in a very high speed or maybe in that particular topic, suppose the topic name is topic A, in that topic A, multiple producers are publishing data. Okay. Suppose this name is P1. This is basically suppose P2 and then here we are having P3. So the rate in which data is getting produced that is very high, right? And from that topic A, only one consumer is consuming the message and in the consumption logic, we have written a very complex transformation algorithm and after transforming the data, we are writing that data in an external system. Okay, so from this situation, you can easily understand that in the consumer side, it will be lagging because how fast the records are getting consumed, that is much slower than how fast the records are being produced to the topic A. So obviously, in the consumer side, there will be a lag. And that particular amount of lag we denote using consumer lag. Okay. So what is the definition? The difference between how fast the producers place records on a particular broker in a topic and how fast the consumers are consuming. That difference is termed as consumer lag. Okay. So let me just explain the consumer lag concept with a very simple mathematical diagram. So suppose here we are having our topics and we are having 994, 995, 996, 997, 998, 999 and so on. Okay, so what are these? So in the topic A, when the producer is publishing messages, obviously along with messages in that topic, one offset value is continuously increasing, right? So suppose the producer has started producing messages starting from offset 0. And the offset values keep on increasing with number of messages getting published. And now currently the offset reached till 999 in the producer side. Okay. So I can separate them using a line. So here our producer is currently at offset 999. Okay. And here we are having our consumer. So the consumer is gradually consuming the messages in batches with some certain poll interval and then processing it in its own speed and writing in a particular external system. Right. Once the batch processing is successful, consumer commit that particular offset up to which it has consumed to an internal topic and the topic name is underscore underscore consumer underscore offset topic. So that the same events or messages will not be reprocessed to avoid that the consumer offset is maintained in that underscore underscore consumer underscore offset topic, right? So suppose currently this consumer has committed the offset till 994, okay? So from this particular diagram, we can understand the producer has produced till offset 999 and the consumer has completed its processing till 994. Okay. This 999 we are getting based on how fast the producer is producing the messages. And 994 is basically representative of the fact that how fast our consumers are consuming the messages, right? Their difference is called nothing but consumer lag. So here the value is 5, right? So 
we can say in this particular context the consumer lag is 5 right so now let's try to implement the same using python and using cell script we will monitor the consumer lag obviously you can understand that there can be some amount of lag from the consumer but ideally the consumer will catch up eventually with time and at least have consistent lag rather than gradually increasing lag what i mean to say using this point is suppose now you are seeing consumer lag 5 after 2 minutes you are seeing consumer lag 10 after 2 more minutes you are seeing consumer lag 15 so in this case consumer lag is gradually increasing so this is not a good situation right we need to monitor this maybe for some reason the transformation what we are applying in the consumer that is very complex for which consumer is continuously lagging or maybe for example the producer is publishing to topic A and that topic A is having 5 partition so using consumer group we can increase the degree of parallelism in the consumer side up to 5 consumer we can spin up and parallelly that 5 consumer can consume but maybe we are running only one single consumer that can be another problem so if the consumer lag is gradually increasing we need to do this kind of tuning that is if there is possibility of launching one more consumer under the same consumer group to increase the degree of parallelism or if there is any opportunity to reduce the complexity of the transformation in the consumer end so that the consumer lag gradually will not increase at least it will be more or less consistent maybe now you are seeing the consumer lag 5 after 2 minutes you are seeing consumer lag 5 and so on like that maybe next time if it is happening 6 then for some more time it will be 6 only it is not like continuously it is increasing from 5 then 10 then 15 like that okay this is not a good situation and this particular thing we need to monitor in the production system very carefully okay so now let's see how we can get the consumer lag in our real system using programming okay so to explore about consumer lag using lab experiment what i will do first i will launch zookeeper in a terminal and then here I will start my Kafka server and then here I am going to create a topic hello underscore world one with number of partition equal to two okay so here you see the topic got created now here let's go through our producer port so this is our producer port here we are doing all the necessary imports here we have given the name of our topic in which the producer will publish the data that is hello underscore world one what we just now created and then here we have written our custom partitional logic i will come to this but let's see what data we are producing so here we are iterating using a for loop we are iterating from 0 to 999 the data is nothing but a json data with key number and in the value part the value will keep on change from 0 to 999 we are printing the data and we are sending that data in that topic what we just now created hello underscore world one the key we are passing as the value of e which is varying from 0 to 999 and the value part we are passing this particular json data and because if you see our number of partitions are two so obviously if you see our logs in server logs here for the topic two folders got created one for our partition zero one for partition one now in which partition what json will be going how we are deciding that the routing of messages is happening based on this particular custom partitional logic here what we are doing we are telling kafka that if the key is even then pass it to partition 0 if the key is odd then pass it to partition 1 and how we are doing that just we are converting that key to integer and we are dividing by total number of partition so in our case total number of partition is 2 and the key is varying from 0 to 99 so whenever suppose even number is coming that even number mod 2 will return 0 right as remainder so all the even number related messages will be going to partition 0 and all the odd number related messages after dividing by 2 will be having remainder 1 so it will go to partition 1 as simple as that okay so here we configured our producer now let's go to the consumer section what we are doing here we are importing all the required modules here we are subscribing to our topic what we just now created we are assigning that consumer within a group and then here we are consuming the messages and manually committing that offset instead of allowing kafka to auto commit the offset okay and in the producer side if you see in between two successive message publication we are giving a sleep time of 0.4 but in the consumer we are giving sleep time of 0.8 
So by default, you can understand easily with time, the consumer will be keep on lagging and lagging, right? Now we will see initially whether the consumer is lagging or not. And if the consumer lag is keep on increasing, what we will do? We will launch another consumer within the same consumer group. Because in this case, we are having two partition. So we can launch at least two consumer, right? So here another consumer code I have written, which is having same code. Only thing is here, the file name I changed main2.py, which is acting like another instance for our same consumer. And that consumer also will be launching under same consumer group where earlier consumer was launched. Like maybe I can show you, I can copy this group ID and if I just search, here see this consumer also belonging to same consumer group, right? So I hope you are getting it what we are going to implement. And we will also observe that when we will launch our another instance of consumer, the lag in which rate it was increasing, at least due to launch of another consumer, that rate should decrease, okay? Ideally, it, it should be constant or something like that sort because here now the parallel processing is getting started. So how to understand how much consumer lag is happening? That is another point. So for that, we can run this particular piece of code. Kafka consumer group dot bat file is already available within our bin folder within Windows directory. Here we need to provide the bootstrap server URL and then here we need to provide the group name for which the lag we want to analyze and then here we can give describe command. Okay. Right. So without any further delay, let us start our producer. So here our producer is started. Here I will start my first consumer. Okay. So here the consumer will start soon. So here see consumer is consuming the messages. Now here I will execute this particular code in command prompt to understand how much lag is happening. Okay. For this particular consumer group. So here see here it has printed. The partition 0 and 1, 2 partition are there under the same topic hello world 1. The current offset in which our consumer is consuming is 11 for this particular partition and 7 for this particular one. Log and offset in both case 29, 29, right? And lag is 18, 22. How this lag is getting computed? 29 minus 11 is 18. And in this case, producer has produced up to 29 messages, but consumer offset is 7. So 29 minus 7, that is 22. Okay. That is how the lag is getting computed. Now, if I again compute the lag, now see the lag has increased compared to earlier. Now, if I again compute the lag, here you will see the lag again got increased compared to its earlier situation, right? So the lag will be continuously increasing because here consumer can never take that particular speed because here we are giving sleep interval of 0 0.8 and here only 0 0.4. So what I will do now, I will start another instance for our same consumer under this consumer group and that is having the name main2.py okay due to launch of this particular consumer now we should see that the lag should decrease little bit so here initially it will be high 8948 okay that is fine so let's see here the producer is continuously producing messages even or both. So here you see now the consumer has started consuming only partition 1. Okay. And this main 2 consumer only has started consuming partition 0. So internally rebalancing got triggered. So now if I just execute the consumer lag, now the lag is 8988. Okay. So now let me again execute consumer lag after some time. See now also it is 8988. So earlier the lag value was continuously increasing. Right. But now due to launch of another consumer under the same consumer group, the degree of parallelism increased in the consumer end and due to which the consumer lag is now a stable value. Okay, see 8989. More or less it is stable only, right? Earlier it was continuously increasing. So again it reduced to 8988 like that. Okay. Now if the lag is almost constant, that also indicate that the situation is okay. But if the lag is continuously increasing, then we need to investigate. Okay. So that only is explained in this particular point. And in production system, you can easily monitor the lag using this particular simple command. Just you need to pass the group name for which you want to analyze the lag, right? So I hope you understood this basic Kafka monitoring using consumer lag. This is all for my this video. I'll be sharing all the codes and uh, cell scripts in the description box or in the comment section so that you can parallelly practice and feel the consumer lag concept. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share and comment. Subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you for watching.